Thanks for tuning in today to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. Only what's done for Christ will last. All of your worldly gains will soon, soon be past. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, for my sins. We have to impress God. And the only way that we impress God is, is by asking Jesus Christ, His Son, His Son to come in to our hearts and speak to the audience out there. You know, they are all door men and door women. to Ephesians, the first chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. When you have it, say, I. I. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first chapter. Amen. Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. The apostle Paul, you remember that Paul that was knocked down when he thought he was doing what he was what he was supposed to do, but he was deceived. Amen. He found out he was doing the wrong thing and he was knocked down. 
Paul, that Paul, that same Paul, that same Paul, amen? That same Paul, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, if it's good, it's of God. Amen? You're here today. That's good. And it's of God. You could have been home watching TV, watching the politics. Amen? MSNBC or CNN. Amen? Hallelujah. But you're not. You're here by the will of God. Amen? To the saints which are in Ephesus and to the faithful in Jesus Christ. The faithful. We are the faithful. Amen. And we thank God so much for His Holy Spirit that makes us faithful. Amen. It's not about us. Never has been. And never will be. Amen. It's about God. It's about God's desire for us to praise Him and to love Him to do His will. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we thank God so much for His Holy Spirit. 1 John 5, 7 says that there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And then He says, and these three are one. So people, they claim that they know who God is. They say, well, I know him, you know, God does this and God does that. Okay, we know that God is our Father. Mm -hmm. And he created us in his image before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. He, he had plans for us. Mm -hmm. Amen? Just, just like when our parents sent us to school. Amen? They got up, they said, get up, boy! We might not have felt like getting up at that moment. Mm -hmm. But... Our parents had plans for us mm -hmm. to get up and to go mm -hmm. to school. Yes. Amen? Amen? And then they had plans for us report card time. Yes. Remember that time we when we wanted to hide our report card sometime? Oh, <laughs> Amen? Change a, 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 a D or an I to an A. Uh -huh. Amen? Somehow. And it didn't work. We, we thought, but our parents had plans for us. Just like God has plans for us. Amen. And God had those plans for us before the foundation of the world. That's what it says here in Ephesians. Amen. Hallelujah. Third chapter says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Blessed be the God and Father. God is the Father. Amen. God is the Father. Jesus is the Son. And then there's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is our keeper. He keeps us from doing the dumb things that we, we might do. But, but we are in a conviction at that moment. We are about to do something dumb, but the Holy Spirit rides in and says, Don't do it. Amen. Young man, what's your name? Amen. Amen. Has the Holy Spirit ever convicted you? Yes. To keep you from doing something that you would do yourself. I know He has for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. for, for us all, there's the Holy Spirit who's our keeper. My brothers and sisters, we have power. Yes, yes, yes. Power. Yes, we have power. power. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yes. The Holy Ghost is our keeper. Yes, He's our comfort. Yes. Amen. Amen. When we get ready to do something dumb, we're saved. Amen. We're saved by testimony. <laughs> Amen. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we have power. Power. Yes. Say power, brothers and sisters. Power. Power. Yes. power. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I know the Holy Spirit is my keeper. Yes. Dumb things that I would have done. Getting ready to do. The young man said he got power. Yes, you, you got power? Yeah, listen at it. 
He's got power. Amen. We all got power. We had power when we went on that ship and we prayed. Amen. As we looked out like Bishop Haley said, that water. I was looking at the TV and it gave us a sort of a compass about where we were going. And, 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 and it flashed up the death of the water. And I looked at it one time and it says, 15,000 feet. 15,000 feet. And I think it said 400, but the 400 didn't matter. Right. Amen. But we were, fit, Brother Steve, Whoa. we were 15,000 feet. Jesus. Amen. In that water. And it took that power to keep us. Yes. Amen. Yes. If I were to title this message, I would call it, While You Can. While you can. Amen. Yes. Tell your neighbor next door, <laughs> sitting next to you. The title of this message is While You Can. While You Can. Amen. While You Can. Amen. God tells us to do it while we can because tomorrow is not promised to us. We must do all we can this day. This is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Bishop Haley, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Pastor. Pastor Regal, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. I know I am. I thank God so much for where he's brought me from. God blessed me to come out of the world. He blessed you to come out of the world. Amen. He blessed you to be here this moment. I was a professional entertainer. Rock and roll. It was all about music. And it still is all about music. But God tells us that it's only what's done for Christ. Amen. Yeah. Only what's done for Christ will last. Yeah. Amen. Sister, sister and Pastor Reba, she's my goddaughter. I thank God so much for where he has called her from. And he blessed her to meet this handsome young bishop over there. <laughs> Amen. And they form a team. And I thank God so much for the privilege to be in their home while I can. Yes. Amen. Amen. While we can. Yes. Amen. Amen. God has preordained us. Mm -hmm. Predestined us. Mm -hmm. God has a plan. Amen. He knew that we would be here this morning looking at each other and glorifying him. As I look at you, you're looking at me. Yes. Amen. But he knew that he knew this. Before the foundation of the world. Yes. He knows everything. Yes. There's none. God, there's only one Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's none, none other but Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. And He gave us the power to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I love you all. I thank God so much for this about love, my brothers and sisters. It's about love. Amen. God tells us that I better love you. I better love you. You better love me. Or you better not die. I better love you. Even though I just met you. But I love you. Or else I better not die. Amen. I better not die. If I don't love you. God tells us to love the Lord. All oh, your heart, your mind, your spirit, with everything. And then he say you love your neighbor. Amen. As you love yourself. And we know we love some self. Amen. First thing we do when we get up in the morning, you know, we get up and we walk to the bathroom. Those of us that are older, we get up and we run to the bathroom. We run to the bathroom. I know I do. Amen. I thank God so much for the privilege to run to the bathroom. Amen. And we look in the mirror and we say, mm, what can I do today to help me? Amen. And we, we primp and we do this. We brush our hair. And the ladies put on the lipstick and the makeup. Amen. Uh, and, and you're trying to get yourself together to 
present yourself as you think, but you are already together. Yes. We're already together. Yes. Amen. Amen. But we're going to primp. We're going to do this mm -hmm. to glorify ourselves so we can come out into the public. Okay, I'm here. I got it together. Next for the bathroom, come on in. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> come on in. But that time, God tells us we should love our neighbor. Love our, neighbors. Love our neighbor yes. as we love ourselves. Yes. Amen. Amen. As we love ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And here's the chapter, the fifth verse. Having, having predestinated that's shouting time. Having predestinated us. Having planned for us. While we were still in our mother's womb. Even before that. Amen. God knew us. God knew us. Brother Steve, he had plans for you. You, my brothers and sisters, all of you. Sister Lou, he had plans for you. He had plans for me. God bought me out of the world from the, from the world of entertainment one Saturday night, November 1975. Mm -hmm. I was on the road to hell and enjoying the trip. Amen. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the trip, having a great time. I thought, amen. I knew your pastor at that time. She was a young lady. I guess God brought us together. She, she was young. Uh, and she saw me as a, a, a big brother or something. Because we were out there in the clubs and this and that, doing this. We, we did one program at the uh, Playboy Club. So we know what that was about. But she was young. And God kept us together. Amen. I thank God so much for that. Uh, she saw me as a big brother. And I saw her as my younger sister. This is real. I'm here right now. God knew this before the foundation of the world. Amen. Amen. God knew us before the foundation of the world. God don't make no mistakes. No mistakes. Amen. God makes no mistakes. And we must praise Him. We must love Him. Amen. We better love. It's all about love. Let me tell you a little trip. Uh, the story, I was in Columbus, Ohio about two years ago. And uh, I had been there about a uh, few months before. I had a minister friend. He was in a nursing home. Uh, so I, I said, Brother Tatum, I said, when I come back, I'm going to get you a CD, a CD player, radio. He didn't have that. This was one of those nursing homes that did not take care of the elderly. Amen. So I was out one Sunday, uh, Monday, after I preached that, that Sunday, and I said, uh, I'm going to Walmart's, and I'm going to get Brother Tatum a CD player radio. So I was headed to Walmart's, headed to Walmart's, and I was out on the street, nice sunny afternoon. We, we do have sunny afternoons in, in the north. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're not the only one that has sunny afternoons. But I hope to be coming back uh, in this God's will many times to be here with you. You know. But one Sunday afternoon when I was at, uh Monday afternoon I was headed to, to Walmart to pick up the CD prayer for him. I pulled up to the light. It's about love now. Amen. It's about that keeper. About the Holy Spirit who's our keeper. I was headed to Walmart again. Don't lose me now. I was headed to Walmart <laughs> to get this CD player for Reverend Tatum. I came up to the light. I looked both ways. I made a right turn. I proceeded. I was in the in the left lane. Guy coming down a hill, 
See, we got a lot of hills in Columbus and Michigan and West Virginia and all the places. But uh, I noticed you guys here, you got straight roads. Straight roads. You know, you can look and you never see the end of it. You, know, you think you're looking for the end of it and, 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 and you get on up there and there's some more to it. But I made the turn at the light and I'm minding my business. I was talking to the minister that I had preached for that Sunday. And uh, I proceeded. This guy comes up beside me. He was calling me all kind of names. He was cussing me at the uh, at the top of his spirit, what he was led by. He was cussing me. And I, you know, we flesh, right? We're human. Amen. So I saw him. I hit the button. On, on the window on the right side. And as I hit the button, the window coming down, maybe about halfway, I screamed out to him, I love you! I love you! He was shocked. I was shocked myself. Amen. Because I if I came out of self, see, I was going to tell him what, what I felt. Brother Bishop, I was going to tell him what I felt. See, see, we get angry. God tells us to. You know, if you get angry, say it not. Mm -hmm. So I was about to do something, Brother Steve, that I probably shouldn't have done, that I was going to have to repent for. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I told him again, I love you! With the same spirit that I'm, that I'm saying it now. Because it wasn't me. It was that spirit that mm -hmm. was dwelling within me. Mm -hmm. And I hollered out and I told him, if if there's a Holy Ghost in you, it's gonna come out at times. Amen. If there, if, if you got the Holy Ghost, uh, if you are a Christian, it's gonna come out. Amen. It's gonna come out. So that I love you came out. I was probably gonna come out of self. I shouldn't have, and I was gonna have to repent. But about halfway down the window, I screamed out. I love you! I love you! He looked at me, raised his hand. True story. He raised his hand and he came up to the light. He made a right turn. His hand was still up. He was in shock. Amen? But the Holy Spirit that dwelled within me, it wasn't me. Things that we might do the Holy Spirit is our keeper. Amen. He's our compass. Yes. And as he made that right turn, his hand was still up. I hope he wasn't paralyzed. <laughs> I hope he wasn't paralyzed, Brother Steve. Mm -hmm. But as he made that turn, his hand was still up. Uh, he turned at the first corner. But this happened while I could. Amen? Uh, Galatians 6 chapter 6. <laughs> Brethren, if a man be overtaken from a fault, read that for me, my sister. Galatians 6 chapter, first verse. Brother, if a man be taken over in fault, that you which are spiritual restore such as one, one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Hallelujah. If a man or woman be overtaken uh, ye that ye means you that ye that ye means me amen if a man be overtaken in a fault ye which are spiritual he tells us to restore such a one amen be there for him that's what that means be there for him in the spirit of meekness. Lest that same thing might happen to you. Amen. And we shouldn't judge our brothers and sisters. Amen. Because we all have issues. Amen. We all have issues. I know I do. I know I do. I get ready to do something dumb. Even though I've been saved since 1975. Amen. That Saturday night. I didn't tell you the whole story. But uh, I had a pound of weed in the car I just picked up. Amen. That weed cost me a hundred dollars. A pound of marijuana. I'm getting ready to head out to the club and enjoying the trip. 
on the way to hell and enjoying the trip. But I was convicted on a corner in Detroit. I was in my car. I pulled to the side of the street and I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life. God's words say many are called, but few are chosen. Amen. Many are called, but few are chosen. I pulled to the side of the street that night. November 1975. Man, I, I just cut an album. It's always been music. I'm always writing something or doing this because God gives us gifts. Amen? Amen. Uh, see, you've been on those Congos all your life within your spirit. Bishop Frank, uh, he's always, it's always been music. God has given you gifts. It might not be music. Amen? But it might be doing different things. Amen. Yeah. Brother Steve, I've heard about many of your gifts. Amen. Uh, uh, we uh, we were at one of your lots over the other day. So that's the gift that God gave you. My sister, God gave you the gift. He's given you all gifts. That's right. And the gift that he's given you, he wants you to take that gift and bless somebody yes. else. Yes. I was blessed by you. Jesus. You blessed me, my brother. And I'm going to tell you while I can. Because next Sunday, God willing, I won't be here. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you while I can. Amen. I love you. Amen. Thank God for saying you. Amen. Amen. I love you all. Amen. What's your name again, young man? Jermaine, I love you, my brother. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And it's all about love. Amen. Amen. You are the first person that I saw when I came. Yeah. I love you. It's a lot of love. And we must do these things while we can. We must do these things while we can. While we can. Amen. My brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you. Thank God for you. Amen. Because God made you. Amen. God made you. Brother West, thank God for you, man. Bishop, thank God for you. We must rejoice and we must be glad and we must encourage our brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 But I got saved that Saturday night, November 75, with that pile of weed. I was, I was cool, I thought. I'm, I'm driving, I'm doing my thing. Man, this is good. But it wasn't to be. Amen. It was not to be because God had other plans for me. God had given me the music and uh, this and that. To glorify Him. I, I go back to the Motown area. All the guys that were in the Temptations. I knew all these guys. We ran together. We parted. God called them. He said, I would not have any of you to be lost. Amen. He said, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. We know many people that have gone on that did not heed that calling. Right. If I had not heeded that calling that Saturday night, I wouldn't be here right now. Right. Amen. Amen. But God had different plans yes, for me. Yes, God yes. had different plans for you, yes. and we must do those things while we can. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow is not promised to us. Right. Amen. Tomorrow is not promised to us. Yes. Amen. Whatever we do, we must do it while we can. Yes. We must love our brothers and sisters. We must take the time to love our brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen. We must tell our brothers and sisters, I love you. Yes. I love you. The young people, we tell the young lady, I love you. What's your name? Hello. Let me get close to you, girl. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? This is Sydney Church. This is Sydney. This fine, charming young lady. God bless you, Sydney. Yes. I love you. Oh, wow, this is Sydney's mother. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Raise your hand. Everybody, this is Sydney's grandmother. <laughs> my sister, God bless you. I love you, my brother. Hallelujah. I love you all. I'm going to touch you.
What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network.